We better get warmed up. Are we? Are we yeah. warmed up? We better get warmed up. Are our vocal cords are... La, 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 la. <laughs> Stone Quest. Angel, Angel we're, not, we're not doing that. Oh. We're not doing that. I thought that mm -mm. that would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. the, the, the Stone Quest Podcast. Spreading awareness within our community. What's been going on? The Stonecrest the Podcast. The Stonecrest Podcast. How you feeling? How you feeling? Do you remember the young lady reached out to us and said, why did you change your name to the Stonecrest Podcast? I know. It doesn't matter that you're not coming out weekly. Stonecrest Weekly was a better name. I know. I agree, though. I liked it. Um, and that's why we still own it. Yes, we still own Stonecrest Weekly. If you ever wanted to email us, it is always going to be info at Stonecrest Weekly. I don't think we're ever going to change that piece. But we had to go ahead and make sure that we were true to how we were representing mm -hmm. ourselves. That's important to Gaza and I. And that is Stonecrest Weekly says that we are coming out weekly. We had some life circumstances and we may continue to have life circumstances that may cause us to be intermittent in how we show up. So weekly didn't seem appropriate to you guys as our neighbors. So we changed to the Stonecrest podcast because also we felt that we were growing beyond just that weekly chat on the mic, right? We have the newsletter that was coming out. We were being much more involved in the community and other activities and representing in a different way beyond just being behind the mic. We were on the streets, man. And we are getting back on the streets because we had some things that set us back. So, um, for the podcast. Some of them were set back for the podcast, but propelled our business, which many of you guys know is Mermaid Lion Entertainment. It, that was being propelled forward. And we had to focus on those paid jobs. Why are we explaining all this though? Because I think that it is yeah. important that we left without notice and that we share with them that they we, can rely on us being back no, no, for we, a while. We, we didn't leave without notice. I don't, I don't believe we left without Go notice. Go and listen. We left without because, notice. no, we put something out on Instagram. Oh, you're so, right. We did put something out. We didn't leave about this. notice. But I would advise if you're listening. For those who aren't on Instagram, didn't get it. So the people who are only listeners. That's what I'm saying. You guys should go on and follow our social platforms so that you could stay up to date on the latest and the greatest. That's a fact. I do agree with that. You got mm -hmm. it, baby. I got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Follow us at the Stonecrest Podcast on Instagram. And it's the same on Facebook. I got a bone to pick with some of y'all too, though, man. Well, let's hear it. It ain't really, ain't really a bone. But I think the last week or two, we, we've, we've casually conversated with a few people who thought they were in Lafonia. Oh, talk about it. And they, people, are in Stonecrest. Stonecrest. Can I call out the one big event that has recently passed? And they try to argue no, with no, us. No, 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 we don't do that. Oh. Not yet. Okay. Well, I really want to because. No. <laughs> I won't. I know you. I know you want to. But I'm not. We're just getting back now. We don't need these. Okay. So I'm going to say this. So I was in Atlanta. I was visiting with a business associate at the time. And <laughs> at the end of the evening, she mentioned how much she enjoyed going to Spice House in Lithonia. Yo, Spice House is actually pretty good. I but, like Spice House. You know what? And Spice House is one of the restaurants that was recommended for our oxtail challenge, which we will be visiting soon. But this is the thing. They were like, oh, um, Spice House in Lithonia. And I said, you mean you've been coming to Spice House? You've been coming to my city and not coming to see me? And she was like, you live in Stonecrest. I said, Spice House mm. is in Stonecrest. Well, it says Lithonia on their website. I said, it doesn't matter what it says on their website. Mm -hmm. If you go to the map, if you go to do I live in Stonecrest, Spice House is in, show up in Stonecrest. Stonecrest. And they were flabbergasted. Like, oh my goodness. And then another young lady that was there, she does a lot of things in the industry and all this. So she was like, I live right there too. I don't live in Stonecrest. I live in Lithonia. I said, ma'am, I would encourage you to go to Google right now and type in 
Do I live in stone? But here's the thing. I know. Let Hold me on finish. A sec. No, let me finish telling my story. You hold. Are you talking a whole lot, man? Yeah, let me say the story. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> You can mic hog. Uh, it's a story. The mic, it's yo. called storytelling, friend. Can I finish Jeez. my story? You interrupted it. Right, go ahead. T. Okay. Anyway, now I'm probably gonna forget what I was gonna say. Well, you by should. By the time be, you finish your you story, you should have been practicing remembering what you needed to say Jeez. instead of interrupting me. Anyway, hurry up. So I, let me go, young lady. I would encourage you to go to Google and type in "Do I live in Stonecrest?" and then type in your address. And then you know what she did? She said. Oh, she made like a noise like that. Because you know what? She lived in Stonecrest. That's kind of crazy, though, because for some of these people, they're, well, what difference does it make? Okay, I'm in Stonecrest. Okay, it's, I'm not Lafonia. It's Stonecrest. So what? what? What does that mean? So if you are in unincorporated DeKalb, which much of the areas that call themselves Lithonia, they're unincorporated to cab unless you're in that small city that only has 3,000 people, which is the actual city of Lithonia. It is incredibly important for you because number one, there is a municipality here. And this year, I'm going to go ahead and call out, is a huge election year for us. District 2, District 4, and the mayor are up for their new four-year term. This impacts you. If you think you live in Lithonia, you need to check because you need to vote come November 7th for your mayor. You need to check what district you are in to see if you are voting for your council person. This is important. The president doesn't impact you this way. Senators do not impact you this yeah, way. Right. Mm -hmm. This local municipalities, these local elected officials make the difference in your life. You don't like your roads. You want more city services. You believe that there's code enforcement issues. These are the folks who make the decision. Joe Biden is not coming down here to see about you when your neighbor is piling up trash, <laughs> making your neighborhood stink. You need to know where you live. I was just so, waiting for this to turn at some point. I just knew it was, I knew this was going to turn at some point. I was wait <laughs> for it. But nonetheless, it is incredibly important for you to understand where you are so that you can have the quality of life that you are looking for. If there's so much industry and it's close to your doorstep and you're wondering what's going on here and you live in Stonecrest, you have the opportunity to understand who your city council person is and connect with them and let them know that you don't want this. Let your grievances Hold them accountable. Be Come to the city council meetings so that you can talk about what's going on and what's important to you. Do you feel like there's issues and you're not being heard? No one's going to listen to you at the city council meeting Angel. of non, because it ain't no city. I think you should get into politics, show. I think I should sit right here. Okay. What did I tell our current mayor? We had the opportunity to see her the other weekend. We were at an event for an opening of a business. That's guess where it is. Guess where that business was? In Stonecrest. In Stonecrest. But anyway, so when we saw her, I was just making a joke. You know, she's running for mayor. And then I think, I do not know, but I think that this is the last time that she can run for mayor. I'm not 100% certain because you get two terms, but her other term wasn't a complete term. So I'm I'm not quite sure how that goes. And mm -hmm. I should look it up. This is going to be a Ooh, this is going to be oh, it interesting. Sure is. But what let I said you, is, let me finish the whole entire reason we went down that see, journey. We did that about almost ten minutes ago. No, we didn't. It's talking about um, me talking. You ain't finished your story. To Mayor Cobble. So this is the thing. Oh, <laughs> I would never run for mayor. I would never run for mayor. Yo, man, Tamika, Do you want me to tell you? You sure are a whole vibe by yourself. Hi, Tamika. But this is the thing. <laughs> I would never run for Mary. Want me to tell you a number one reason why? Why? Because people will make a stupid murder dinner about you talking about who killed the mayor of Stonecrest. Yeah, I don't know what y'all, I don't, y'all, y'all tripping. <laughs> I understand Boy, art a, imitates life. So think about interesting that. Interesting sense of humor. No, it is a horrible sense of humor. Ugh. I don't care if you are for the mayor, you are against the mayor, you want to trouble the mayor, get, get you love the mayor. Why in the world 
Would you do that to another human being? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah to playing. another human being, the mayor walks around with private security because she has been threatened in the past and you decide and you decide we're going to make a comedy and say who killed the mayor there is nothing that you can say because if nothing else if you said you were ignorant to it ignorance is no excuse no but what i'm trying to understand about this is like how do you even pull all those people together to do that we're gonna (laughs) <laughs> we're gonna do a murder mystery about killing the mayor. That, Great idea. That's, and, I, and everybody disagrees. And I remember saying, "Oh, please tell me about it because I want to go because I was gonna go to that place and I was gonna read them a whole new tale." Now that is crazy. With that being said, it's very, very wrong. You know what I'm saying is, is that yes, it was wrong. They should be fined. Whatever it is that needs to happen, it's been shut down. Should and, be happened. Well, I okay? shouldn't say it's been shut down. It's still occurring. But they changed the it to a, a make believe city but, of McGee. But the murder mystery is a good idea. You guys just went <laughs> wrong. Now it's never. It was, it's a good idea. Something like that it, out here could be pretty cool. It is a good idea, but now I don't think that that one's gonna ever be successful because they came out wrong. You kind of put a bad taste in Stonecrest's mouth yeah, for that one. You came out wrong. You can't come. And be in, and this actually was in Stonecrest too, and I think that's why they. This is insane. They used to do that at um, I want to say Discover Mill somewhere. They had murder mystery. You talking about the medieval times? <laughs> that is not the. <laughs> <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I ain't thinking about medieval times. I, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. You're my bad. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but yeah, I had to get that oh, off our man. chest. So shame, shame, shame. Gaza's been walking around this whole entire house talking about, we need to bring shame in back. Well, guess we what? We do need to bring shame, shame in back. Shame, shame, shame. We do. We do. We absolutely need to bring shame in back, you I think it's healthy. <laughs> A good old shame is healthy, man. <laughs> And so, again, and if this was made because you have grievances against our current mayor, you better show up at the city council meeting and get your two minutes to talk because this is crazy. Yeah, but don't just talk it's about crazy. it, man. Be about it, man. There's too right. many people around here. Talk, 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 but not enough action. But don't even show up. So many people on Facebook got their fingers going crazy about why not this and why not that. And when I, before I had surgery and I was going to every city council meeting, every work session, I saw the same six people there every yeah. time. Yeah. Every single time. You know, Malika Wells, who is now running Faye Cofield, the same doggone people. But, the, but as you know what? I think it's even bigger than that, though. You know, I think it is about... You know, it's because it's, it's bigger, bigger than, than me. that. Big. I do, though, because it's like, you know, going to the council meetings and stuff is great. You, sh- you know, we all should try to participate in that in that fashion. But doing work within the community... Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some of these, there's a lot of good organizations out here around Stonecrest that people can get with to really help some of the do-gooders in the in the community. The do-gooders? The do-gooders What in the grade community. did you go to, friend? <laughs> <laughs> but there are the do-gooders out there. You know what I mean? Th- people stop who... saying it. Does that sound? What is this? What is... Do-gooders. It seems like you didn't go to post. Okay. So there's a lot of selfless people. <laughs> postgraduate education it doesn't seem like you have any <laughs> your undergrad Gaza has a whole degree friends you see me I promise you, uh... you took English <laughs> <laughs> angel selfless you're selfless selfless people yes who truly are about the neighborhood there are plenty of... That doesn't mean that they're an organization. I feel that Stonecrest has a lot of individuals. They have more individuals than organizations. Of course. But, but um, it's those individuals who make up those organizations. No, so. it isn't. Some of these individuals are just individuals. They are not part of any organizations. They um, just do the work on their own because they believe in it. Like our neighbor who lives yeah, in our subdivision yeah, yeah. who picks up trash. He's not a member of any organization. Yeah, we just, just see him out there doing that good work. I'm saying, man, you were just taking everything. I'm saying way off. You, were, you missed 
understood everything I just said. <laughs> That's not what I was saying. I'm just saying that the selfless people who are parts of these organizations, it doesn't have to be, it's not all of them. Everybody's doing different things mm -hmm. to help even the community. That's true. And there are organizations, like you said, not many of them that are. Mm -hmm. I wish Good organizations. You just love. You know what? I want to tell are, everybody something. You, you are a mic hog. The <laughs> guys will love slapping the table and stop leaning in that chair before it breaks. It's already broke. You gave it. It's like, why am I? And you should be in this chair, actually. I probably should because I weigh much less than you. Yeah, you should. I, you know. <laughs> no, but, um, but you shouldn't be leaning in it. What, where are we in this conversation? Because I'm so lost. We, How what? did we get lost? Because you're all over the place. No, you're talking I mean, about people. I'm trying to figure out who you talking about because, you know, there's and stuff. <laughs> like I'm. <laughs> let's, let's reset the floor. Okay, reset it. Reset it to where you like it. Let's talk about the candidates. Who are all the mayoral candidates? All right. So there are a lot of candidates. This time, there are 10 total. Five of them are running for mayor. So we have our incumbent, Jasmine Cobble. We have Dele Loman. We have Diane Odoma. We have Bernard Smith. And we have Kirby Frazier. Those are the folks that are running for mayor. I can... I've been talking to some people in the community. Mm -hmm. um, can I, you said I'm a mic hog and I don't want to be that, but can I kind of in one word say the negative things I've heard about every person? The negative things. Okay. It's the negative things you've heard about all of the mayors. Yeah. Just in, all of the ones yeah, running in, in one word and, oh, excuse me, in between one to three words, say everything that I've heard about, all of the candidates that was negative. And then I will come back around and say the positive things that I've heard. Can we do that? You got, well, how quickly can you do that? I can do it fairly quickly. Don't you have to gather this information? No, I said I have already been talking to community people and I wanted to tell you what they've said. See, off the, off the top, huh? Yes. So you're going to call out the name and in between one to three words, <laughs> I'm going to say the negative things oh, that doing? the community has said. What is and, going on here? Okay. Uh, this is very exciting, actually. Uh, all right. This is, we're only doing this for mayor. We're not going to do this for the city council. Off people. the top. Let's go. Okay. All right. I'm in no particular order. All right. Bernard Smith. I know I got you with that one because we don't, we don't know Bernard Smith. L listen, and that's what the community said, too. <laughs> 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 Bernard who? Well, I guess we got found a negative. <laughs> that that was it. Okay. Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? Bernard Smith. All right. Kirby Fraser. Why? 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 Is that that's what they're saying? Yeah, why, why is he running? Kirby. <laughs> I think you gotta ask a why. Mm hmm And the number one thing is like, didn't he get less than five hundred votes last time? It's kind of some of the folks. Yeah. I don't know. But he, yeah. All right. Diana Dama. Unstable. Unstable? Unstable. Jasmine Cobble. The villain. <laughs> the villain. The, <laughs> That's what that, no. These are the negative things that I've heard. Right. They were calling her... <laughs> like a villain and that she is single-handedly a tyrant of the city <laughs> and we are all under her wicked realm okay, so and that's, rule. Okay, so that's what you heard? Yeah, but it was supposed to be one to three words, so you should have just let me stick with what I said. Okay, Dele Loman. Interesting. That's just, that's it. That's it? That's it. People have just said it's interesting. So, okay. Or, well. they, or they'll say interesting or they'll say who. So based who, who is she or that's interesting. So based on this, it sounds like Jasmine Cobble um, has a 
has a pretty good, I guess, uh, audience. Because yeah, if, if she people, definitely. If people want to the make... people saying yeah. making stories of villains. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, so that part, those are the negative things. I would love to have the opportunity then, to say the positive things. And then Diana Dama, a lot of people... That unstable comic got well, me. A lot of people and know those who, were exact words too. who she is from what, what um, transpired some years back, right? Yeah. So if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. Um, okay, so it looks like in regards to popularity, it looks like Jasmine. Diana Dama and Jasmine Cobble. Are the most popular? Are the most popular. Oh, absolutely right. Yeah. I would say that they are the most known. The most known. Mm -hmm. But and but that, let's not forget Dele Loman and her background. She has a, a good, strong Super background. Super known so, in the community for, yeah. you know, being on the elections board, right? And being a member of DeKalb. But she has to get her neighbors to know who she is. Because, again, I heard either interesting or I heard who is she. Wow. Right. So even yeah. though she has made a difference, like if people really understood what she did with the elections board, then they, you know, if if we were more involved, right, we would understand that work. But, but we're going to help that, too, because we do have our election, election series, series coming, coming up. So we're going to try to put this together and, the, and the, these people are going to come speak for themselves who they are. Exactly. So you guys stay tuned. I need to close it out with the positive. Remember the bad. and the No, you got to get to the positive. Let's go. OK. All right. First so person. I'm doing it again. Yes. Kirby Fraser. Kirby Fraser. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to chuckle. I like his personality. I think he has a very nice personality. I do. I don't know if he has enough experience to, to but these for are this. Your, this is your but opinion, but it's, it's my not opinion. what the community said. What? But you know, they just <laughs> What? <laughs> the positive is they said that's cute. That's cute. He does. He's a, he's a nice guy. He is. He's a nice guy. Nice spirited guy. You know, I just, like I said, I don't know if he has the experience for this. But yeah. nice well, guy. Hey, open I know your that phone he's again. A, a military person. Yeah, he's a military person. Mm -hmm. So respect to him, man. Respect to him for even, even um, running for this. Absolutely. You know, congratulations on your campaign. Because there's some tough opponents on this list, man. I'm going to tell you now. And we don't even know who Bernard Smith is, mm -hmm. um, which is a kind of a mysterious kind of thing. Yeah. So next person. So hopefully he comes with some uh, really solid background too. So we're going on the districts now? No, we're going on to... I need to say the positive about everybody. You only said Kirby <laughs> Frazier. <laughs> okay. Um, Bernard Smith. We're happy that more people have put their name in the hat. Okay. All right. Yep, definitely. That was the positive. Diana Dama. Don't do that. Okay. Don't tell me there's no positives. I know there's positives. I've seen positives. We're glad. This is... I just... She does get a lot of... It's a positive, but it still feels sarcastic. I think that's why I'm acting that way. Hey, regardless of what... This is what I feel. Regardless of what anybody feels out here, mm -hmm. she called some stuff out early. How it was done is up for all types of debate and, you know, whatever, whatever. I ain't getting into all that. But she caught... She's seen it. And she called it. Period. That's that means something. Okay. I ain't saying it means everything. I said it means something. And so well then okay, then let's play devil's advocate then. If that's the case, how long are you gonna run on that same thing when you ran you on can't, that? You gotta you ran on that two other times and you're still not in the seat. You gotta come with something else. Yeah, you gotta switch it up. I mean, you gotta level up on your campaign, and yeah. uh, you know, you gotta start meeting the people where they're at. Mm -hmm. But that was, but that's the positive that I've heard about Diane, and that is, or, no, or she... Doctor Adama, excuse me, and that is, we're glad that she's willing to fight for what she believes in. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So Jasmine Cobble. She has turned this city around. Open it again. Mm hmm. She's, a, she's turned this she city has around. She's turned the city around. But I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't. That's it. And I know probably a lot of people don't know, just like I don't know what's changed. Right? You don't know what's changed? You don't feel that since um, Jasmine Cobble has been mayor, 
that we haven't seen the reinstallation uh, of the children's See, program. I want to join. I want to join in with Angel right here because she's absolutely right. Right. Stonecrest has become more no, visible. Hold on one second. You what? just a whole bunch of I don't knows and now you suddenly want to join in? What kind of roller coaster are you on? Well, you know, this is what we do here, man. <laughs> it's a journey with us. You just gotta, just gotta roll with us, people. It's, uh, you sound fake. <laughs> How I sound fake? Because <laughs> you said, I don't know. I don't know. What has she done? And then I started naming something. You're like, I'm gonna join in on what she's done. No, but you did because, no, when you talk about what's changed in Stonecrest, like, what has she done in Stonecrest, right? That's mm-hmm. a I don't know because I, 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 I'm not as. Well, am I not? Am I not about community? Yeah. What? Am you, I not about okay. community? You must be about community because the Stonecrest podcast or Stonecrest Weekly was not my idea. Well, you know. It was. It was nowhere. But then again, I didn't get into this for politics. Mm-hmm. I came into this for a whole different reason. But yet here we are. And I don't feel like we're still in politics, but it helped me understand. Now, this is it what... is it's crucial. You got to I've learned so much and in, in time that we've started this podcast, understanding, you know, city government and how it works. And uh, yeah, how Stonecrest became Stonecrest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you guys should actually go back. And you guys should actually go Jason back Larry. to go listen to Jason Larry. Yeah, talk about the birth of Stonecrest. It's, it's very a two part, two part podcast. There's a part one, and there's a part two floating out there. If you could find it, <laughs> it's um, it was a very oh, let me tell you, that was our first piece of hate mail. After we interviewed Mayor Larry, we got our first very long, mm-hmm. passive aggressive, semi nasty email from one of our neighbors. And I said, oh. <laughs> this is interesting, but this is the thing. Mayor Larry was dead wrong in what he did, but every person has the opportunity and deserves the opportunity to tell their story. And if they decide to lie through their story or if they decide to tell the truth of their story, if they decide to be comical, if you come on our platform we are not doggone Barbara Walters or Gail King right. that are going to sit here and try to trap you up and get you to like say incriminating things or make you feel uncomfortable. One thing that I believe Gaza has taught me and I believe that I continue to share with him, like it's a back and forth whenever either one of us is kind of caught up. And that is you get more bees with honey. Mm. Say that again. <laughs> You're not going to sit here. I said, say that again. Oh, you get more bees with honey. Hmm. What do I look like? Condemning someone at that time when we interviewed him, it was unfounded. There was only investigations going on. So nothing had actually happened. Did we believe that? You know, some stuff was about to happen. Absolutely. Some stuff was about to come to light. But if we're oh, gonna, because we interviewed him and right, we interviewed him like, and people, they were like, he's being investigated by the feds. Absolutely, he's being well, investigated. He has not been indicted. That ain't got nothing to do with us. It had we'll nothing to do with us. It's our yeah. Our podcast is a neutral platform. It is an opportunity for all community members to share their voice. And if you don't understand what it means to be a neutral platform for us, it means everybody can get it. <laughs> <laughs> we're... We'll put it out across the board, okay? Everybody can get it. And anybody. (sighs) And also, everybody has the opportunity to share something here. So we have these wonderful things called sound offs. Mm. You, our neighbors, are welcome to leave that voice message, the sound off. And we play them on every episode that we leave when we actually have two we need to run right now that are from community members who have left us messages when we were dormant at the time. So leave a message. It could be anything. You want to shout out your baby's birthday. Do that. Because you know what? Podcasts are on demand. Unlike radio, if you didn't get in the car on time and then you missed it, right? 
But with a podcast, you can have it being said on the show and you can make sure that you timed it for the ride and your baby is going to get to hear you say, I love you, little TJ, and happy birthday to you today. Our shows, the new episodes come out on every single Monday morning. So if his birthday is actually on Tuesday, guess what? Play it on Tuesday and little TJ is going to hear you sounding off. And that's that. I tell you, she makes my life so easy. <laughs> what? Come on, leave get... us a sound off. If you're having a yard sale, come and sound it off. If you have a neighbor that you want to give a shout out to because they've been so amazing, leave a sound off. If you just went to the Kroger and the Kroger staff member, cashier was above and beyond for you, why not leave them a sound off? Talk about the things that have happened. Most of the time people want to sound off, this community is crazy. But guess what? I've had such great experiences since living here. And I'm like the number one person to say like, oh, I never wanted to live here. And I tell people all the time, I did not want to come here. And a matter of fact, some days I still hate it here because the schools are crazy. Oh, we got to get into the schools. And we're going to talk about the schools like this year. We are about to dig deep into the schools and Dr. Horton, who is the new superintendent for DeKalb County school system. We are very, very happy to have connected with him. It seems like his vision is very positive and it is more inclusive of all of our students, our students who are having issues with gender identity, our students who are suffering with disabilities. He is trying to think of all of the angles so that everyone is covered, everyone is protected, and everyone in DeKalb County can excel. That's what he says. So he's only been here for probably 45 days. Let's see what he does. And we're looking forward to seeing some changes. I want to be able to take my daughter out of private school because I trust that the education she will receive outside of being able to go to Arabia Mountain High will be beneficial to her, right? It's going to be, oh, she fought through public school and now look what she did. Like, why is that a story? Public schools should truly set you up to be successful, not that you climbed out of this horrible environment where your teachers are overwhelmed or undereducated and now you survived and you made it to college. No, everybody should be able to go to college if they okay. want to. Right. Okay. Enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> Enough. Sorry. Let's talk about something fun. Enough of politics, man. Sorry. Oh, look, district. Let's talk about. No, no, no. No, no. district two and district four. Okay. We're not going to say any negative or positive things about these folks. Okay. Okay. District. Open your phone back up. Let me go through these. I'm going to do this quick, man. So you're going to read them off? Yes. Go. Okay. All right. District two Terry Fye, Belinda Hall, Robert Turner. District 4, George Turner, Malika Wells. Those are your candidates, folks. That's Learn it. about them. Everybody has a platform. Everybody has a website that's on here as well. District but 2, District 4, stand up. Stand up. Pick the person that you think is best. Is it your incumbent or is it one of the people who are running? Are we good? We are good. And we can talk about something fun. That was fun, too. Okay, that was fun, too. Okay, but this is a bit funner. Okay, go. <laughs> Let's talk about Stonecrest Film and Entertainment Commission. Ooh, I'm going to let you have it, sir. I'm not a mic hog on this section. No, sir. Say what you need to say. We need support from the community. We need y'all to come and show up at one of these Stonecrest and Film Entertainment Commission meetings. And we need to hear from you guys. I know there's a lot of talented people out here in Stonecrest who want an opportunity to be seen, who want the opportunity to learn. And I feel like the Stonecrest Film Entertainment Commission could really help push that. I feel like I'm back in the Stonecrest Film Entertainment Commission a whole lot right now. So the Stonecrest Film and Entertainment Commission 
has an opportunity to grow into something much bigger than what it is today. And they're trying to do that as well. They just got through working with mm-hmm. an agency to help support <clears throat> and guide them in the right direction. And we are members of it and we absolutely want to see it be successful because Gaza and I really like to win. We don't want to be part of something that isn't reaching its full potential. So come on and make sure that we're giving you everything you want to see from a film and entertainment commission as a community. What a great way to create our own story out here with the Stonecrest and Film Entertainment Commission, Stonecrest, to create its own story, Cre- create the stories of the past and, and, and for the future. And for the future. And control the narrative. The narrative. Mm-hmm. That, man, that is Stonecrest. That's what I see in Stonecrest when I look at Stonecrest. Absolutely. I definitely agree. I feel that the media picks and chooses what they want to say about this city in particular. Right. Because there's things that have gone on in this city from a political standpoint that were illegal and the media didn't cover it. But I promise you, they are out here for all the gas oh, station stuff. Absolutely. Anytime that somebody gets hurt near the mall, absolutely. they want to fly around it. Like if you're mm-hmm. going to tell about some bad stuff, tell about all the bad stuff. Right. And on the other side, make sure you're telling all the good stuff. Why is it that you haven't covered much of the great things that have happened in this community? There are some new and innovative things that are happening but, right but here, but you're not going to cover we it. We got into that tell. But that's why we're here. We got into that tell a little while back too. Though. We did, but that's why we are here. We are here to close now, People don't understand it on that level though. That people really don't. I mean, they on a more global level, they understand that media plays a big game, but even man, local media... Mm-hmm. Local Everything media has local power. has power. Mm-hmm. I, I heard something in our business that made us switch our whole trajectory and, and just things that we were doing in regards to, you know, how we ran our business. Mm-hmm. And the young lady, what did she say, Angel? What did the young lady say? That, Which young lady? Oh, I, I think you're talking about my girl. Yeah. That you need to look within. Is that what you're talking about? Look within. Mm-hmm. To me and to us, that meant look. Within Within. where we were. Within. We saw a need. And this actually happened when Gaza and I, we were really getting started in this podcasting space. We were transitioning into this podcasting space and looking at it a bit differently. When we were searching for certain things about the city or what we needed to do, it was not easily accessible. And I was frustrated. Gaza was frustrated. When we were doing some renovations on our home, him and how he needed to get the permits and all that stuff. All of none of that was clear at the time. It's so much better now. But at yeah, the time, that. it was terrible. And Gaza was like, I see a need here. I see an opportunity for us. And that's when we first came out. We're Googling so you don't have to. Right. That's why we kind of came out with that language at the time because it was difficult. The city's website was trash. But now it's much, much better. And you still city, need those meeting minutes, though. Those meeting minutes. I mean, I, you still need those meeting minutes. Yeah. No, we need those meeting minutes. Like, I don't know, what's what's a reasonable mm-hmm. timeline for after well, well, after they recorded the, and aired? This is the part that makes it difficult to get those meeting minutes in the time frame that feels reasonable. Is they have the meeting, then they have to wait till the next meeting for them to vote on the meeting minutes. And then they all have to vote and approve them at that time. And then after that, they can go out. So that means the meeting minutes at bare minimum Man. are two weeks behind. Yeah, well, you know. For the public to get them. And that's why I was doing that in the newsletters to try to get people information much quicker. Obviously, I stopped. I was sick, y'all. But it is something that we want to bring back. I think we have a great tool to do that, oh, I cannot wait um, to see if this is successful. We're trying some things out. AI is bad, but AI. oh, is it good? Yes, it is. Be yeah. careful with AI, don't. Yes, be careful, guys. Mm-hmm. If people call you from random numbers and when you answer the phone, they don't say anything, don't keep talking. It's crazy, though, because 
AI, artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. Like, what are we talking about here? Because uh, I understand like the cloning of the voices and stuff like that, you know, technology just become more advanced. But this stuff has been going on for a while. The, the, the tools and yeah, there's some new, cool new things out, but it's, they're just shiny, shiny little things on top of things that were already built before. I think like, the awareness is what makes it more scary That that, that part right there, it's like, oh, people are like, oh my God, that's AI. I'm like, that's thing they've been doing this. That part is true. And I, and it's, just, it's just more consumer uh, accessi I accessible. I think that is also something that's important about the city. The awareness piece, right? right? Awareness is so much power. It's so much power to know, to know who is involved, who isn't involved, to know if you live in a city or not live in a city. Talking about that, the, that, the city got an app coming. They, they got do. a mobile app coming. And it's going to be dope. I'm super excited about that. That's a pretty, that's a pretty cool. Super excited. I think that was an excellent investment. I'm not sure how much it costs, but if anybody tries to rah-rah on the city for how much they spend on that app, you need to sit all the way down. Oh, that no. app is needed. Well, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good way to keep so, people connected. It is important. And especially depending on what type of features and functionality they have mm -hmm. actually on the app. Right. Like, is, is it going to be a convenience app or is it just like a knowledge-based app? I feel like, that it's a little it? bit of dual. I heard... Utility app, kind of, in a way? I, I think it's a little of both, like I just said. The But the part that I'm super excited about is you're supposed to be able to do code enforcement stuff directly from the app. Okay. So... I'm driving down the street, right? I can kind of do my code enforcement stuff right there. I remember, I can't remember who do we were you interviewing. Know if it's a web app or if it's an, an iOS I do not native know. app. No, that part I do not know. Okay. Mm -mm. I just only heard about like, you know, everyone was super excited about this opportunity for the code enforcement piece. And I think that also you could get information for business licenses off of there too now. Oh, uh, I would... It would be cool if the if the city was building that in house, like they. I don't think they have the talent to build it in house. Mm -mm. That's what they need. They need a they need a digital workforce. Yeah, digital department. We like can't a real afford digital it. Digital so department. Working in public service means that you are willing to make less. Like for instance, my brother worked in, you know, with the military and doing all of that stuff. For a long time, and then once he went private, a whole lot of information, you <laughs> When he went private, <laughs> you be sharing. You know doubled. what? You be sharing a whole lot of information. I didn't say his name. Jeez, I didn't say his name. Say my name. Say my name. He's single, girls. Okay. Anyway, back to Stonecrest. <laughs> he doesn't live in Stonecrest. <laughs> The last thing that you and I need to talk about, we talked about the sound offs. We talked about the mayor stone credits. You brought up the film and entertainment commission, which I thought was a fantastic ad. Um, talk about um, some of the big boys in, in stone crest right now with no, uh, let, let's chill on them. And let's talk about the big event. Okay. That well, we have hold, coming up. What big, hold on. What are you talking about? Screen on the green. Screen on the green. Screen on the it's green. The fourth year, right? Yes, and it's going to be September 16th, and normally it has been at Farrington Park, but this year it's going to be at the at the Southeast Athletic Complex on Hill. Did we go last year? No, remember, um, London got sick. Oh, do you be giving a whole lot of information, man? What? <laughs> Why was that something bad to say? Oh, like, what this, difference did it make? Don't make it easy for everybody. That we didn't come because our daughter got sick? Like, what? make it easy for now. What are they going to do with that information? I don't know, man. It just feels... Man, sharing. Sharing <laughs> is caring. Look, now they know we're not liars. Anyway, and to um, close out, so screen on the green, Chrisette Michelle is going to be there. Yeah. Can we talk about that? I ain't know who she was. Ooh. I ain't know who she was. I still don't know who she is. We, Let us know she's a singer, right? We're gonna have to play you some songs, friend. Uh, um, so, what? Tell me about it. What is it? Like, maybe I heard the song, but just don't know. Who. I'm not about to. Any other time, you don't want me to sing. Uh, and you, now you know this. You know. You know this, right? Come on, Andrew. I'm sure they want to hear you sing. You know, you ain't no stranger <laughs> to singing. I'm not doing it. And so, the last thing that I want to talk about is us again. Okay, but who the hell is Chrisette? Don't, my guy. 
You just are determined. Okay. All right. Forget it. Moving on. To... Moving on. I was trying to hear, a, you know, give me a... No. Give me a hook, something. <laughs> no. No hook? No. Okay. Anyway. Right. Closing it out with Gaza and I. We are so happy to be back. Yeah. We're happy. It feels good to be on it. I hope you guys are hearing that nice buttery sound coming from these mics. Oh, it feels so good. It's nice. Mm, yeah, I know you got a, a earful from Angel this episode. You did. Almost like I didn't exist. Not true. Okay, not true. But I will also say that Gaza and I do not get paid to do this podcast. Nah. Because it's bigger than this. Because <laughs> it's bigger than me. <laughs> like, we do not get paid. So do we sell sponsorship opportunities or ad opportunities? Yes, we do. We do that. Do we get any type of funding from the city? No, we do not. Do we get donations from the community? are we affiliated with the city? You can't. We are absolutely 100% affiliated with this city. How are we affiliated with the city? Um... The Stonecrest podcast. We are 100% affiliated. We are everything Stonecrest. I'm talking we about the city affiliated. government is what I'm talking about. No, that's... The and, city. We, we are members of the Film and Entertainment Commission. What you just said sounds crazy. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that is what not to do when you're on the mic. <laughs> Oh, so, my goodness. We can teach you about podcasting now. <laughs> Trust me, we can teach you. Just We're really professional. Just don't sense. do it after midnight. <laughs> so we uh, are affiliated with the city, but the city does not sponsor <laughs> us, right? I really the forgot city you. does not have any impact on what we say. The city does not influence how, how we, we run move. our platform, right? How we move. So... We are affiliated because we are members of this community and we make sure that this podcast is able to bring you the information that you need. And that requires relationships. Yeah, but if we're not doing this for money, what, plus, are, what are we doing this for? If we're, not, if we're not running this podcast to make some money, then what are we doing this for? The Stonecrest Podcast, spreading awareness within our community. It might be a good way to end it. Just, just like that. Catch you next time. BBD Stone Press Podcast. Spreading awareness within our community.